Hi, I'm Philip Shane. I'm a documentary filmmaker in New York uh, and a longtime fan of This Week in Science. When I heard that just before their 500th episode, uh, Dr. Kiki was bringing her co-hosts, Justin and Blair, here to New York to do a live show, I thought that was an amazing opportunity to get to know more about the podcast. So I made this short documentary. Um, gives you a little bit of a peek behind the scenes. Um, even more importantly, though, I was really curious to find out from Kiki how she got this whole thing started and kind of what drives her to keep doing it uh, so well for so long. Um, and I found out some fun things along the way about the history of the podcast. So I uh, made this short film. I hope you'll enjoy it. Hey everyone, I am Dr. Kiki and this is This Week in Science. And on next week's show, we're going to be live, live in New York City at STEM Fest. It's taking place at Under St. Mark's Theater. If we're invited, we want to be there. Yeah. yeah. If, if somebody wants us to be somewhere, we're willing to go there. Okay. <laughs> you know what like I'm supposed to be. You, wow, you threw it very short. Have you ever known? I know. Never. This is a first visit. So far, I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with the number of people. Over there, you guys, it's the Indian restaurants with like the mostest. The whole inside is done up in Christmas lights. It's insanity. What happens if you're epileptic and you go in there? Well, not the whole the whole thing. The whole thing inside isn't blinking. It's just the front lights. We are here. Check, one, two, check, check. So weird not wearing headphones. Yeah. I've been doing twists for a long time. My friends and I would hang out and drink beers and talk about science. We would talk about physics and neuroscience and different areas. We were joking around like, ha, 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 we should be on the radio. I started as a radio show on the UC Davis campus station, KDBS. We now broadcast using Google Plus Hangouts on Air, and we're completely independent production. Yeah. yeah, I think it's great. It's available on YouTube and through iTunes, and I edit a version specifically for KDBS that's non-commercial and perfect for public radio. Yep, it's all the way down, <laughs> okay. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. If, after listening, you find yourself wanting more of what your brain likes. More is available at This Week in Science, coming up next. So I've been doing twists for 15 years. <laughs> Justin came in uh, around 2005, so we're coming up on Justin's 10 year anniversary. Are there any pictures or anything that would be good for that? Um, for the frog, I think there's some really good pictures. Blair came in three years ago. It was nice having her new energy and her excitement. You guys ready for the house? We are ready for the house. It's been almost 10 years since I lived here. I like it here. <laughs> It wasn't ever this cold though. <laughs> I don't remember it being this cold. But then again, I'm a California wuss. We are right outside next to the ice skating rink at Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center where I worked at WNBC when I was a AAAS Mass Media Fellow. I think I was on the 14th floor. WNBC. <laughs> One of my first jobs was having to type out all the stuff that had been said during an interview that I hadn't be, even been present for, but just transcribing. And I just remember sitting there going, I am the world's worst typist. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, I need to get better at this more quickly. <laughs> I learned how to write for television. I learned how to write copy. I learned how to put together a story. I learned, you know, how to, how to look for what people might think is interesting 
And knowing those and getting those skills a little bit better developed here, I was like, I can take this back to the internet. <laughs> I can get out of big TV and just stay in the internet. I was still doing This Week in Science. I'd find a really quiet back office with a telephone, and I would call in and be like, this is Twist. And I'd like, host the show over the phone from New York City. It was, it was ridiculous, but it, it was fun. Moonlighting. <laughs> Moonlighting. Rockabilly. That's right. <laughs> This is a street I lived on. There were two lions in the front of the building. <laughs> That's what I remember. Let's see. I wonder if the lions are still gonna be there. Ah, oh, there it is. I found it. The lions are more rained on. It's one bedroom with this little teeny tiny kitchenette and this little teeny tiny bathroom. <laughs> and I had a desk over by that window. And that's where I edited twists. I would set up my computer on that desk. Had her bed over there. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely been some growing up and some more, I guess, training of my brain, and figuring myself out over, you know, 10 years. You know, when I was younger, I was a lot more flippant and like, ah, it'll work out, Wah! let's go. And now I think I'm a little bit calmer. 30 to 40, there's a lot you learn about yourself. <laughs> This is Twist. This week's Week in Science, episode number 497, Twist Takes Manhattan. Okay, so I have a couple of headline news stories. Dun, dun, dun. Neural interfaces for your spinal cord. What? We could be looking at treatments for Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, paralysis. Like, the, it's almost limitless what we could do with an implant. I get a real sense of satisfaction internally. I get, you know, that happy, warm, fuzzy feeling when you know you're doing something that's good, um, that's helping. I want to drive people. I want to get them to be curious. I want them to learn more about their world. The best thing for me is when I hear from listeners over the years who tell me that I influenced their decision to get a degree in the sciences. One mom sent me a letter saying thank you for being an alternative to Hannah Montana. <laughs> It's that kind of stuff that keeps me going. We'll be back here next week, and we hope you'll join us again for some more great science news. And if you've learned anything from today's show, remember... It's all in your head. This week in science. This week in science. Thank you, New York. This week in science. Thank you, everyone, for Thanks, coming. guys. This week in science. Thank you to the theater, Perez, Will, Nick. Thank you.